detailed. We're still awaiting word from Indiana State Police to just describe the chain of events that led up to the shooting of that trooper, again, with a non-life-threatening injury, a shooting to the hand. But this is the scene right now as evidence technicians are down there. They're processing what had happened, getting evidence. Uh, and again, police out here in great numbers. We can tell you that we have talked to several neighbors. Neighbors tell us they saw police chasing three men, and then they heard several shots. Jay Thomas is one of those people that witnessed this incident. He talked with us just a few moments ago. The police are uh, screaming, get on the ground, get on the ground. Then I heard two shots. Then I heard about five more shots. Pow, 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 like that right behind another. Then all the, sh all the shooting stopped. So was, all the police cars were coming, and uh, the policeman got the shot. Did you see him? I seen him when he put him in the ambulance. Now, what you're looking at is the Eagle Point Apartments. That's just off to my right. That's the area where neighbors told us that they saw those men running. They saw police chasing. One said it appeared that another squad car with an officer in it was trying to cut those suspects off. But this whole area right in here, they said that's exactly where it happened. And once again, we're awaiting word to get the chain of events from state police on what took place here. Reporting live for the now, Indy, Chris Profit, RTV6.